Okay, so it's been a while, a while since I posted a video, and I have been rather busy in the computer world here. Let's start off with uh, this completely new system I assembled. It's uh, Asus base, Asus AMD based system. It's got an Asus motherboard that supports Crossfire and SLI. Currently, I just have one. Uh, GTX 750 Ti card in it, which is also of the Asus brand. Um, it's the 8328-core processor. It's got 8 gigs of RAM and a single stick, and it's got four slots. It goes up to 32 gigabytes. It's got a Corsair CX600 power supply. It's an NZX XT uh, Phantom Mid Tower case. It's got a Blu ray reader, DVD writer. Right now I just use this external uh, card reader. It's got a built in fan controller. I believe it's up here. You can turn the fan speed up. However, the cooling on this is good enough that you can just keep it on low and temperatures are always fine on all the hardware. Uh, I know I need to reverse that fan. I'll get to that someday. This was uh, the first computer I had built from scratch. I learned a lot. Uh, came out working great. And it's a uh, Asus. Uh, that's the motherboard I used. And it's got a uh, I think that's a 23 inch monitor. Now you got a Logitech gaming keyboard and Logitech gaming mouse. Uh, also hooked up to it with a KVM switch is my old, you might remember this from the last video, it's a, uh, was the XP computer. It now uh, has Vista. Uh, it still has XP on a hard, hard drive, but I'm thinking I'm going to do something else with that partition. Uh, bummed me out that they ended support for XP, but I don't really want to be on the internet without security updates and all that. And that's uh doesn't have the stock specs on the side there. It's a three gigahertz Core 2 Duo E6850. It's got four gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 650 video card. You can see the back of the video card maybe in there. Uh, I know that has an EVGA enthusiast sticker on it. Uh, I like EVGA cards, and I had initially planned to buy the EVGA 750 Ti for this. I think I ended up going with the ASUS um, because it was available to me first through Amazon, which is my preferred supplier for computer parts. They've never given me any problem with returns uh, or paying for return shipping, which uh, I don't believe Newegg does. All right. Uh, my place is kind of a mess right now, you know, it's, I got boxes there from recent projects and stuff, but, you know, so, that's what that's about. This is now, as you remember, in my last video, we had, uh, uh, Acer Predator, um, dual monitor setup, I believe. That's been upgraded to three monitors, and not only that, since the uh, Predator case wasn't really affording me enough room for the components I wanted, I switched it to this case here. Uh, it's still got the GTX 670 and the 3770 um, uh, i7. Um, this case, I put a uh, NZXT fan controller on it to control my fans. This one actually doesn't have Blu-ray because I don't really ever watch Blu-rays on it. It's just got a DVD drive, which I rarely use. Most of my games are downloaded through Steam, but it's there in case I need, you know, an optical drive. That's actually a uh, SATA external uh, uh, hard drive reader that comes in handy sometimes. And another project that we need to talk about that's going to be my HTPC. I don't have it hooked up currently, but it does. It's complete, works, it has uh, 
Windows 8.9 on it, main point one on it. It's got a uh, the logging's kind of bad, but that's a um, LG Blu-ray disc uh, reader and Blu-ray writer. Now this computer, it's in a Corsair, or was it? I believe it's Corsair. It's an N200 case. I believe it's Corsair, but I could be mistaken. It might be Cooler Master. Well, actually, I, it is Cooler Master. I would say Cool Master N200. And um, actually, went. To, this is an ITX build. It has got an ITX motherboard in it. And actually, you might be interested in seeing that. So let's see if we can pop it open. Oh, that's the strap. Let's get that out of the way. So you might be interested in this. Let's see. So there you go. It's a. Uh, we got a little ITX board in there. It's got a built-in uh, Celeron dual core. Uh, 1037U at 1.8 gigahertz. That processor only uses uh, 17 watts max if you use integrated graphics since I have an external graphics card it, uh, according to open hardware manager it uses about 10 watts um, and it's uh, uh, benchmarks according to past marks similar to some of the uh, actually higher end core 2 duos it scores about a uh, 1700 and something odd points and you know, there's a lot of Core 2 duos that score from about 1,000 to 1,500. And we'll get to one of those in a minute, actually. Of course, the high, high, highest in Core 2 duos score around 2,000 or so. Anyways, so this one, it's got a uh, GT630 video card. It's got a Rose Will 350 watt power supply. It's got a 2 terabyte Western Digital Green Drive for storage. And... Uh, 240 gigabyte crucial SSD as the boot drive. Let's see if I can get that mess back in there. Currently, as you can see, I don't have the the, the fans hooked up because with this little power system, they're just not needed. And well, I figure I'd leave them in there in case I decided to use this case at some point for a system that does need them. And let me get these screws back on so I don't lose them. Okay, next computer. It's not currently hooked up. This was a used find. It's a HP DC 7900. And, um, oops, let's keep it straight because I'm going to post to YouTube. It's actually one of the higher end uh, configurations. It's got a Core 2 Quad Q. 9400 if I believe at 2.66 gigahertz and it's got 8 gigs of RAM and it's actually an SLI capable board although if you want to use uh, as you can see my it's messy in here too but if you want to use uh, any kind of serious I think it's only SLI compatible with single slot cards and if you want to use any kind of serious cards obviously you'd have to get uh, uh, put it in a bigger case. This though, it can they make 77, 50 cards uh, that fit in this. If you put uh, two of those, even one of those would be plenty, really, for a lot of stuff I do, because I have my main gaming machines for games. But even the integrated graphics work really well for this machine. It's running uh, uh, Kubuntu, a Linux operating system, and I've been enjoying that. I'm probably gonna move it out and hook it up over in my living room computer workstation. I'll hook up to that 42 inch LCD above the computer monitor. Alright, and what we got going on over here? We got another used acquisition. It's a uh, Dell Optiplex 360. And this one's got a Pentium dual core uh, E7200. Uh, that one, I believe, benchmarks on 3 mark round, uh, 15,600 points. So it's not a, it's a decent processor. It's got uh, four, four gigabytes of RAM and 
It's running Linux Mint, another uh, good Linux distribution. And right next to it, that's uh, the old HP, uh, it's like a, was it A650 or 630E or something like that. Anyways, basically I just put it in this case. This case uh, used to house the AMD Duron uh, base computer that my uncle had built me probably about uh, when they first came out. So or shortly thereafter, it probably wasn't when they very first came out, so over a decade ago, probably like 12, 14 years ago. Uh, this hardware is usable with uh, Lubuntu. It's a uh, low resource uh, version of the Linux distribution, and that computer, it's got a AMD Athlon 64 single core processor at like 2.2 gigahertz I believe it's like a 3800 plus or something like that it's got one gigabyte of uh, RAM I think I put like a 320 gigabyte hard drive or something in it. something like that IDE of course uh, you can kind of uh, it's the reflection but and the lighting but let's see here there you go so you can kind of see in there and that's the hardware it's got it's a game case I put a new 80 millimeter fan and in the back I put a 120 millimeter fan oh I almost forgot another important addition to the computer classroom well here though this is my uh, Sony blu-ray player and you can see my uh, uh, Roku box there too that's hooked up to that little LCD above the game computer so that way I can you know li listen to comedy or whatever other shows I want while I game it's kind of messing here this is like a little retro gaming one emit station. It's got, you know, a PS2 and a GameCube. Alright, so this is the other computer I was talking about. This one, uh, it's uh, another Socket 775 machine. It's housing a E8300, I believe, Core 2 Duo at 2.83 GHz, a 7790. Uh, graphics card that benchmarks almost comparable to a GTX 670. It's got a two terabyte hard drive and a 300 gigabyte hard drive, and right now it's got an IDE uh, DV drive, which I'm going to shortly change out to SATA. And then you can see my external DVD writer that I use on my laptops and whatnot. Or right, that's a Blu-ray writer, my bad. Uh, down here, well, we got a 50 inch uh, 3D TV and I got my uh, PS3, uh, Xbox 360, a Wii, PS4, and another old PS3 hooked up to it. But anyway, over here, yes I know it's a mess, but you know I'm in the middle of a lot of projects right now. This is a 770 I got a good, really good deal on, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet to be honest, but it's a nice card and once I got it for really cheap my MacBook Pro it's a I think late 2011 edition this is my old Windows laptop it's a AMD dual core based system it's like uh, 2.4 gigahertz or something like that 4 gigs of RAM that maxes out at 8 right now uh, I still have the Windows hard drive but I put another hard drive in there for the time being running um, Kubuntu again. I've, I've grown custom to Linux. So as you can see, I've been uh, rather busy uh, with my little projects and everything, and it's place is kind of a mess, but you know, whatever. There's a TV I was talking about hooking the computer up to, and that's another sort of retro gaming station. And that's all I have.